Good morning, everyone. We are magnet fishing, a new location. And while I was trying to get everything set up and turned on here, he already caught something. Oh, it's the squeezy thingies. Been down there a while. You think? That's pretty gross. <laughs> Well, I don't see anybody in here yet, so we may be just uh, doing this on our own again today. It's fine. Everybody can come back and watch later, right? Yeah. My show three watching, but I don't know who's in here. Hey, Wiley, Jim. We decided to magnet fish again today. <clears throat> Get us some more watch hours. Spend some time with all you guys. Hang out. There's something on the bottom of that. What is it? Oh, I yeah, saw that little white thing on yeah, the way over there. A bunch of other pieces of books. Yeah. really nice day here today. It's going to be probably mid-70s, sunny. It's a little windy right here, but otherwise it's really nice. Hey, his way homestead. So far, he's pulled up those little hooks, and he pulled up a weird grabber thingy. Mm -hmm. I'm not picking that up. That's gross. But it's like one of those things you squeeze, and it, you know, clamps on to stuff. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I'm using something different. I'm not using the Osmo today, so I'm just using a different microphone. Yes, we are in a different location. We decided to try somewhere else. Well, actually, we went. We was going to do some docks that are around a dam. And we got down there, and there's like a bunch of people fishing. And we're not going to, you know, disturb their fishing and stuff. So we decided to try this. This is actually like a little... It's in, it's in a town, and it's kind of like a little park area. But this is... Uh, what is this body of water? This is a la uh, lake, um, or is this river? This is Riverside, Osage River. Hey, J. Charles. I hope everybody can hear me. So I have no idea if there's sound. The sound is working. Hey, Jerry Holly. Jerry said hi. Nobody's telling me if the sound's working. That makes me wonder if they can't hear me asking if the sound is working. <laughs> oh, no, Jerry said he can hear us good. Thanks, Jerry. So Jerry came in late. I'll show you what we what he got. Well, he got a bunch of little hooks and pieces of hooks. And I'm gonna pick this up so people can see it. Ugh. That is like a you squeeze that little handle and then little 
squeeze together and you know grab things. You need to have gloves so I can you know pick that stuff up. Oh, I got some more stuff. That's a little problem. Yep. Oh, okay, Wiley. That's good. We'll be watching for that video. Get those walls up, man. Get those walls up. We need to hurry up and get that one built. That way we can come build ours. Yeah. <laughs> So, for anybody that's wondering, this morning we were down to needing 152 hours, I think is what I said. Well, that's what we need watch hours wise to get monetized. So, we're getting there, but man, the last hundred or so just went by so slow that we're not, I don't know, Sherry had fantastic travel said she was wondering if they don't hold hours at the very last for some reason because it seemed like that to her that it drag, dragged by and uh, so I don't know it just like nothing the last couple of days is crazy even the, yeah even though our view count went like gained quite a bit Last over the last 24 hours, our hours did not. So I don't know how that all works. Um, oh, good morning, Bill and Natasha, Shanna. So anyway, we like doing these live streams, magnet fishing, anyways, because we think it's fun. So we like hanging out with you guys. But you know, bonus, it gives us extra watch hours. So. And it's a great day to be out here doing this, really. Super nice. Oh, I should have brought my coffee down here with me. So we stopped at this gas station. And I'd never seen this machine before. And, you know, they had the normal, um, I don't know, what do you call those? Like the... Normal coffee pot things, not the glass pots, but you know what the gas stations had, those metal ones. And uh, they had a sign on it and it said, we have coffee at the bean machine. And I'm like, what? So I kind of look over to the side and I'm like, oh. So it's this fancy machine. It looks like one of those cappuccino machines, you know, where you push the button and then the stuff just comes out. But it had beans in the top of it. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to work this. There's like 20 different coffees you can choose from. So I just picked the macchiato. And then it asked me the size, which I picked the wrong size, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I picked smaller so it didn't like overflow. Or anything. Uh, and then it asked me how strong I wanted it and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And this is all digital. And finally, it's like, you know, make my coffee. I'm like, Yes, please. It's really good coffee, but that was a really cool machine. I've never seen one that had uh, beans on top of it that grinds the beans. What is that? I don't know, but it says it's from China. China. Yeah, it's from China. It's like casing for something. Hmm. But it's good coffee too. So if you guys see one of those machines somewhere, I'm rambling. <laughs> I'm trying to keep you entertained. That's pretty deep. 15 foot deep. That's pretty deep. Hey, Lily. I thought it was a cool machine. I'd never seen one in a gas... Well, I've never seen one, but, you know. And then to have it in a gas station, I thought that was pretty interesting. (laughs) 
Okay, I gotta get my bifocals in the right place because I cannot read them letters or them words. Yes, yes, good to see you too, Shannon. <laughs> Jerry said you've become a talker. Uh, he he just I don't know. I guess he only talks when he has something to say. Yeah, yeah, he don't ramble like I do. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, we don't want to just stand here and have dead air and, you know, make you guys just boringly watch him throw the magnet in and out. Now and again, you know, we didn't announce that we were going to go live. You're Silent Bob. That's what Nursing Our Travel Book said. You're like Silent Bob. <laughs> yeah, we weren't even sure we were going to have uh, recept enough reception down here to do this, so... I mean, I have no idea how clear the picture is or anything. I'm hoping it's okay because it looks like I have pretty full bars. Good morning, uh, Millie and James. Get a little closer over here, too, and just in case he puts something up. There's a lot of people that walk their dogs in this, this river park. There's some pretty nice big dogs. There's a lot of bike riders, too. You need the bucket? Did you get something? Oh. I didn't see Mr. Boatman coming in. <laughs> I'm going to get out of the way of the boats. We're on the courtesy dock. <laughs> it's not posted, no fishing, so they need to be specific if they don't want to fish. Ooh, he made waves. Making the dock rock up down. Oh. Hey, Gladys and Kenny. Welcome. Catching on to something there? Now, we don't expect to be finding, like, any uh, rollway beds or or fish, or not fish tanks. Well, we don't expect to find a fish tank either, but <laughs> gas tanks. <laughs> Fuel was what I was going to say, and it came out fish. I don't know. This morning, I didn't get to drink all my coffee. <laughs> But this is kind of not really, I would say, the area for, uh, you know, just dumping big trash. But, yeah, losing, losing fish and poles and, and uh, like, their uh, fillet knife things and scissors and stuff like that. Yeah, we tried yesterday. We tried to go because we were going to either do a live yesterday, which probably wouldn't have been able to because I don't really think I had enough signal anyways. But um, we would have videoed. But we went to some little back, back country, little bridges with some pretty murky water. So it looked kind of promising. There wasn't a thing. You didn't pull up anything there, did you? Nothing at all. Yeah. So, we tried those two and nothing at either one. Well, the one you didn't even get out at, did you? Because it was so shallow. Yeah.
should have brought my sunglasses. I never remember to bring my sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I really kind of want to get a <clears throat> a double-sided magnet so we can do some of this more of the dragging than the dropping. So we may look into getting one of those soon. Found one. Watch I watched this channel called um, Magnet Junkie. Which is a really awesome channel. If you guys like watching the magnet fishing, he's really cool. Um, but he had a he he won one. He won a magnet from another fi magnet fishing channel, and they sent it to him. It was from um, oh, what was that magnet something UK? But those magnet store, he yeah, had something like that UK. Oh man, those magnets were awesome. And powerful. He did a video of like his three different magnets, which were three different brands. And that thing is so strong that stuff even was like um, attaching to the sleeve of the magnet. <laughs> so we would really like to get one of those. Yeah, I just clean up the water, clean stuff out of it. Oh, Somebody asked me what we were doing. It happens. Almost almost every time. Yeah. People are curious. So anyway, we don't want to get one of those awesome magnets. But they're really expensive, so Hey Scott Jacobs. Yeah, Shanna, you would think I would remember. But no, I wear glasses, so I have to have those sunglasses that go over my glasses. And they're so they're not like, I don't keep them in my purse, which I probably should, but, you know. Hey, get a load of this RV up there, guys. It's a older one. Raven. I don't know, but that's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. RV. Oh, does that look like your truck, Jerry? <laughs> Is that your boat too, Jerry? You want me to grab that boat for you, Jerry? You have a boat? Hey, that truck over there looks like Jerry's truck, he says. The truck on the ramp? Yeah, that's like Jerry's big truck. I asked him if he wanted me to grab that boat. Go with this new truck. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty nice truck. I should go there and ask him if I can look in. I'm like, hey, a friend of mine has one of these, and I just want to look inside. <laughs> kind of probably be like, uh. <laughs> this chick is crazy. Oh, Jerry wants the boat. Hold on, Jerry. I'll throw the magnet over there. <laughs> I'm always nervous watching somebody load up their boat. I'm always afraid they're going <laughs> to roll back into the water. What you get? What is that? Oh, a bolt. Yeah, a nail. Bolt and a nail. Woohoo. How exciting. Clean up the water one bolt at a time. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't... Oh, there he is. Hey, Kenneth. I miss seeing that. I must have been looking at the boat guy. Or the RV, I don't know. Well, we don't have a huge crowd in here today, but we do have like seven, eight people watching. But, you know, if it's nice weather like this in a lot of places, a lot of people may be out doing stuff. Because it's nice. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's pretty deep. You can just keep pulling and pulling. We're thinking about walking over there and doing those little docks over there. Uh, those, they're actually boat slips um, that can be rented from the city. I can't remember the rules on that. We looked at that one time, but we thought that was kind of interesting. But you rent it from the city, and you can have your boat there. And you can just leave it there, I guess. I mean, as long as you're paying the rent on the slip. And the last time we were down here, which has been some time ago, there was a couple of boats in it. So people do use them. And obviously, you know, that guy right up there is fishing from it. <laughs> uh, we, uh, Jerry, we're in Warsaw. Um, we were going to go over to Truman Dam. Well, we went over to Truman Dam, but there was a lot of people fishing over there. So we decided to come over here and do this. This is uh, kind of like their little city park. By the, it's like a river park is basically what it is. We moving over there? Okay, guys, you're going to have to go for a walk with us. I hope I don't get too bouncy here for y'all. Because, uh, like I said, I didn't bring the Osmo. Because that thing, I love that thing. But for doing those live streams for magnet fishing, it always wants to veer off over here when I need it over here. You know? <laughs> it's kind of unmanageable. Okay, that was a hill. Anyway, so maybe you can, I don't know. Well, I guess you can't really see a whole lot of the park. But there's like river walk stuff all up in there. And it, there's a path that goes all the way over. And it crosses the highway, right? And then you can walk across that bridge. Because there's a walking bridge. See, there's, you can probably see that bridge. There's cars running across that. But on the other side of that, there's a walking bridge. Suspension. Yeah. Walking suspension bridge. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> it's a walking bridge. Yeah. We went across that once, didn't we? Yeah. We saw it. Hey, Timmy Ray. <laughs> hey, Jerry, I think it counts. Jerry wants our steps to count. Oh. I think for him. Oh, sure. Yeah. I'll just transfer right over. Yeah. Count my steps. These people in this town exercise a lot. Where can you go? What? Well, they're all like walking and jogging and biking and ugh. Who does that? Our water's actually down a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, See the ring where it normally normally is on the rocks. They're starting to put Christmas decorations out. You see that the angel over there. There's a little playground right there. There's like picnic tables and stuff down by the river. It's a really nice little river park, I think. They keep it nice and clean. I'm walking as fast as I can. But I feel like it's taking forever to get around there. I feel like everybody's like, oh my gosh, hurry up. I would jog, but then you guys would be going like this. There's like the 
trail. I'll show you. There's like trail system thing here. So you can like ride your bikes and and uh, walk those and whatever you I don't know feel like you'd want to do. They're all paved. They're, yeah, they're all paved. I think it's cool they let you ride your bike on them, honestly, because you know a lot of those trail path things like that they don't let you have bikes on them. I mean, not that I really ride bike much anymore because last time I tried, about died. We used to do a lot of bike riding. Just not so long ago. What, three, two, three years ago. I mean, we did like 52 miles in one day. That about killed me. Literally. I wanted to keel over after we got back to the vehicle. Yeah, it was really hot. Jesse dehydrated, almost died. Literally. Luckily, our very uh, athletic son was with us, and he rode the bu his bike, what, about 15 miles to get water, and then rode 15 miles back with the water. We did have water with us. It's just we ended up going through it so fast because it was a lot hotter than what we really, I guess, expected or thought it would be. So... You can fish when they're not reserved. I think we read that last time. I'm not fishing, I'm recovering. Yeah. Well, yeah, we've decided to use a, a new term. I actually learned that from another magnet fisher. Not to say that you're fishing, but you're recovering. Oh, thanks for coming, Gladys and Kenny. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Oh, look at the ducks. Wait, I gotta get over and show the people the ducks. Look at them. Aren't they cute? Come back, guys. Where are you going? <laughs> Aww. I like the one with the green head. Oh, now they're coming back. Sorry, I'm... I would say I'm squirreling, but they're ducks, so... Does that mean I'm ducking? <laughs> yeah, we've only been... Um, we've only been told we couldn't magnet fish one place and that was in Arkansas and the um, what was that guy like a ranger or, I don't know park ranger or whatever told us we could not do it from the uh, from the boat uh, the boat boat dock or in some other areas he told us we could go go over here you know it's like but it's not posted that you can't fish from the dock and we weren't technically fishing we told him what we were doing but whatever i mean he was nice he wasn't you know like a little weenie or something but he you know it was just kind of like really you know it's not posted there's not even a boat here because i mean we don't get in the way of the boat but whatever that's the only place we've ever been told we can't be Does anybody have any big plans for the day? I figure some of you are probably still drinking your coffee and waking up. I gotta watch how far back I go. Fall right off. Yeah, fall right off the back of this. No, me either. I 
I have no idea even what time it is. I don't know why when I get in the stream yard it... Oh, there's my time. Never mind, I see it. Okay. Oh, I thought it was yesterday, His Way Homestead. Well, tell her I said happy birthday. Ooh, soccer game. That'd be fun. I wish her lots of luck. Fill deer, deer feeders and wet some magnets. That sounds like a good day for that. Is your weather pretty good, Jody? We're, but well, I mean, right now we're probably in the 60s, I would say, but we're supposed to, 63, yeah, it's supposed to get like mid 70s today, stay sunny, a little windy here on the river, but <laughs> Mrs. Commander Bacon, that's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but my ducks swam by. They're over there. I really like the ducks. <laughs> If you guys haven't been over to his way homestead and watched some of his shorts of his ducks, some of those are kind of funny, especially the ones with the hangry ducks. Oh my goodness, when them ducks are hungry, they are they want their food. <laughs> it's pretty amusing. Cracks me up. Oh, is it supposed to turn off like winter weather on Tuesday or is it just like gonna be stormy or something? I haven't looked that far ahead for us. I just knew these, this weekend was going to be really nice. So we kind of figured that would probably hinder our magnet fishing a little bit because people are still going to be out wanting to, you know, fish, fish. Speaking of, there's a really cool Christmas decoration right there. <laughs> I'll stand up here. Windy in court time. Yes, I did. Check out check out his shorts. people walking by. Good morning, it's about time now. It's funny, people that watch as they go by, I'm just like, what are they doing? They see him with a rope in the water and me with a phone pointing at him. <laughs> well, and then I'm standing here and I'm talking, so I'm sure that looks wonderful because he's way over there and I'm way over here and still talking <laughs> and he don't talk so <laughs> it's like I'm standing here talking to myself <laughs> oh man it's all good um let's see I can't remember when you came in we caught this weird oh I'm gonna get my fingers out there again this thing's nasty it's been in the water a long time it's a grabber so like that handle right there, you squeeze and it closes the little mouth, I guess you call it, to grab things. I think people, what do they use that for? To grab the fish or something? To grab the hook to unhook the fish, yeah. Okay. Wait, I didn't, where'd that go, Jerry? I was reading that. Rain on Tuesday, then get nice again. Going to Lake Camp through the weekend. Oh. Which lake is it you go to, Terry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about time now. That's what he said. Grab the hook out of the fish. I knew it had something to do with the fish. Honestly, guys, I'm, I'm really not into fishing. I'm going a couple of times. It's not my thing. 
really only go because he likes to go, and sometimes he won't go if I don't go, and you know, that kind of stuff. Hey, forever best friend. Hillsdale Lake. I will try to remember that. You're going to camp through the whole weekend, Jerry? Oh, no, I don't want to pay bills. I did that the other day. I have enough of that. Where's the first place you're going to go, Shannon? Are you going to take a big trip, or are you going to kind of stay local? Well, talk the dog. <laughs> yeah. So I'm guessing um, ETA is that, Meta? Is it that the new hurricane coming through? Yeah, because to me ETA is estimated time of arrival. <laughs> I've seen that and I'm like, okay, I don't get that. But so now after the other comment, I'm assuming that means that's the name of the next hurricane trying to come through. Yeah, I don't watch. I don't watch a lot of news. I don't pay attention to the weather half the time. And pretty much stay away from Facebook completely, and you know, just it's just too much. Is that a fish? There's a fish jumping over here behind me. Last time we were here, he caught. Well, I guess just hooks and hooks and uh, I guess I'll get the bucket. Hooks and lures. That's what I'm trying to say. I think that out of my mouth. Really should have drank the rest of my coffee. You know what? I just want to say that I think you people that are in here are freaking awesome. You guys are so cool to hang out with us. You know, and I don't even care if it's just because you don't have anything better to do. I think it's awesome that you guys are hanging out with us. I just kind of have fun talking to y'all. We're talking at y'all, I guess. <laughs> oh, I forgot you went to Mayberry Channel. Seen you in maybe New Horizons video or live stream camp. Yeah, I remember that. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. Hey there, Miss Southern Bell, Wandering Gypsy Vanner. How are you guys this morning? Oh, thanks, Jim. Well, yeah, I guess you do kind of talk back. If I can catch the comment. Yes, juice of the bean is very important. <laughs> oh, I left it in the in the Hummer, and I'd only drank maybe half of it, so you know, I guess I got a half working brain. Beautiful weather in Illinois. That's great. Yeah, it's beautiful here, too. I mean, like, it could stay this way year-round. I'd be okay with that. Because, I mean, right now, I'm in a hoodie, but I could go short sleeves. So, I mean, I think that's great. You got something over there? Oh. Well, good. Why are you giving that face? 
giving me a face. Okay. Yep. Any luck? Getting a little bit later in the morning, so people are starting to come out. I had to get out the way. The guy in the field fishing. They have some fish in their basket. Coffee? Oh, okay. Oh. I don't know where we're going to go next. We go on a trip, bigger trip. Well, I guess Quartzite would be next, huh? We're, we're talking Quartzite. We, it really depends a lot on the weather and then, obviously, possible current situations could put a damper on that. So, you know, we have to kind of wait and see how certain things play out, but... But anyway, that would probably be our next big trip. Off the word. Right, yeah, he's already put it on the calendar, so he can be off board for it. Um, and we won't be able to stay exactly the entire time, because we have to get back. But, but we'll be there almost, <clears throat> almost the whole time of I the actual family sure. meetup. Ooh, how exciting. Is that a, what is that? Is that a little weight? Oh, yeah, it is. A little ball bearing weight. Or a ball bearing weight. A BB or a. Yeah. Know. Anyhow. Yeah. <clears throat> Quartite's probably. That's probably a pretty good drive for you, isn't it, Shanna? I mean, it's like 22, 22 and a half hours for us. So, I think you're you're in one of the Carolinas, aren't you? North Carolina, maybe? That's, whoo-wee, that's a good drive. <laughs> All the way to Quartzite. Jerry's hoping to have his class A before Quartzite. Well, dang, Jerry. Yeah. South Carolina. Okay. Still, I mean, that's going to be a long drive for you. I'm trying to remember how far we are from the. So you're, gosh, you're looking at what, 30, 30 some odd hours. 35, 34, probably. To Quartzite. That's a trip right there. Because when we, let's see, to Oregon was 30, was it 31? So it was like that, 31. Of course, we didn't drive straight through. You know, we stopped in those other states and stuff. But that's a long trip. Oh, yeah, see, so, you know, that would be okay if you can get out there and stay out there for quite a while. Wouldn't be, see, so we got to, you know, turn around and come back after the week-long meetup, so. But that's okay. I mean, you know, we can meet a lot of you guys in, in the matter of a week. So hopefully we get to go. Hopefully everything plays out okay when we get to go. And then I don't know after that. I don't know what we'll want to do. I've got places I'd like to go. I don't know if we're going to stay closer to home or if we'll, uh, if we'll go further away. I don't know. Yeah, gas, gas prices will, will make a difference. Because, I mean, we'd like to spend some time in Tennessee because there's a lot there. I love all the waterfalls they have. We'd really like to spend some time in Georgia. I, you know, I didn't realize, and here recently, a lot of people have been putting videos out on stuff in Georgia, and there's, there's a lot to see in Georgia, and I think it would be a fun state to visit. 
But I also really want to go to the Atlantic, spend some time at the Atlantic Ocean. I haven't done the Atlantic, so I want to do that too. So I don't know. Hey, Cargo Dan. We are using magnets for bait. <laughs> and if we actually pull up any fish with it, I'm going to be a little concerned about the fish in this water. Oh, thanks. Jim is hoping to get a pro master by December. That's awesome. So I'm just going to go back up through here because I know I missed some comments. I'm going to see what people are saying. I don't even know what magnet are you using this morning. Is just the 500? Oh, the 700, 700 750, whatever. <clears throat> we're, we're still in talks over this whole 20 some hundred pound double sided magnet thing. Because he, he would like to have one. I'd really like for him to have one. But then, you know, we're kind of nervous about him losing it. That would be terrible. So they're not really cheap. I mean, they're not extremely expensive. But they're not really cheap either. So we haven't, haven't. Yeah, we need a sponsor. <laughs> we need a sponsor. Where's our magnet sponsor? Come on, brute. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we just haven't quite convinced ourselves yet to do it, but I think at some point we'll probably go ahead and give in and, and get one. I really want to go back to that other place that we were at, and I want to get that stuff out of there, but no it's there, because that's, that just drives us crazy that we had to leave it. I mean, we, we guys, we didn't have to leave it, but we did leave it, so... And for those of you that watched last time, you know how cold it was. We, we determined that that is why my uh, battery drained so fast. So I have had no issues with my battery since then. And today, I mean, I've used about 30% being on and we've been on almost an hour. So I drained 100% and right at an hour last time because it was so cold. So I don't know what we're going to do when we get into this uh, winter magnet fishing, because obviously my uh, my camera is not a happy camper <laughs> in the cold. So and I don't know. I have to make a, I might have to get crafty and make a scarf for my, for my, uh, Phone so that it can stay warm. So, Cargo Dan, you were Cargo Van Dan, correct? When did you change your name? I noticed it the other day that you changed your name. Or I was pretty sure that was you. I think I saw you in a live stream or something. Of course, you know, you can't, like, just click on something. and Yeah, okay, I thought that was you. <clears throat> I like it. I hate that they took away the, the option to click on a person's picture in a live chat so you can go right to their page. I absolutely hate that they did that. And I know you can get the, whatever they call that. I forgot what they call that. The go-to go to channel or something thing for Chrome. But I'm not paying <laughs> for that service. I mean, because generally you can pretty easily find a channel, you know, just by typing in their name. Hey, Blaine. We're kind of just hanging out, talking. Let's look it over there again. He's caught some hooks. 
some coffee jigs, um, some kind of weird, I don't know what you call them, grabber, grabber clinky things <laughs> that you use to get the hooks out of the fish. They've, they are not any good. They will go in the trash. They've been in the water for quite a while. Like the bottom of the handle broke off. <laughs> Hey, Desmond's Donders. Good morning. Well, I guess it's probably not morning for you. Time is it here? No, nope. it's afternoon for you, isn't it? Well, good afternoon. But we, uh, like I said, we like we like doing the live once in a while. I like hanging out with all you guys. Just chattering. Well, I chatter. But, you know. <laughs> He's here. He doesn't chatter. He's here. <laughs> but also, we could really use the watch hours because we're getting really close. And, you know, so we thought, well, we'll go ahead and try to go live today. We were hoping to catch, you know, some exciting stuff, but. <laughs> I mean, other than those little grabber thingies that we caught right off the bat before I think anybody was even in here to see us catch it. Yeah, very, very first. I didn't even have the camera on. <laughs> I was still trying to get StreamYard to open up, and he pulled up those weird clampy thingies. He crappie fishing, is that what he's doing? Oh, okay. So that's why he's just like putting the lures in the water and not really casting. Okay. Yeah, see, I know a little bit about fishing. Hey, friend the camper. I'm kind of surprised that the water's this clean. They haven't caught more hooks and stuff. Really would have thought there would have been more hooks caught. What's on the line? Magnet. people here, I'll show you the big grabber thing, because, you know, I just love getting my hands off the dirty. Oh! There it is. It looks like a, a brontosaurus, or, or snake. I don't know. But yeah, that handle, you squeeze that little handle, and, and then the, the little mouthy thingy, you know, closes. And essentially, it's like a pair of pliers, or I don't know. One of those grabber things that short people use to get stuff off the shelves. Ooh, fun. Where did oh, uh, where'd you go? I wait. I looked at your post. Or are you? Do you post behind, Dave Desmond? I don't, I, be, I think you post behind a little bit, don't you? So what you posted for what's up, coming up this week is probably what you did last weekend or something. Wow, my chat just jumped a ton. All right, Jerry, have fun. Um, you know what, Nomadic Hippie? I would just like to find a safe. It wouldn't even have to be Al Capone's. <laughs> I think anybody's safe. <laughs> I think that would be cool. 
honestly, even if there wasn't anything in it, that would be pretty cool. Uh, let's see. I thought I saw somebody else make a comment that I missed. Hey, Nick's Picks. Hey, Jason Up to Grove. You know him? <laughs> um, Barefoot Adventures, good morning. I think I said hi to everybody, I hope. where uh, they pulled up uh, well I kind of missed it as he was watching it. They pulled up like the inside of the ATM like the box part inside that's all you know like locked. Anyway they ended up busting it open and it was just full of mud. But I, I think it's weird that it was still locked and everything and, and there was nothing in it. So somebody pulled an empty ATM box. Right! <laughs> Uh, I don't know. That's strange. Oh, I see. Good morning, the Daydreamer Hustle. Jason said that wasn't a very nice look. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, so in case everybody missed Hippie's comment, he's driving, so quit tagging him, please. He didn't say that part. I'm saying that part. He don't need to be looking over every time he sees orange because you're tagging him. I think everybody said hi to you, Hippie. And Hippie says hi back. He's going to do that for him. Oh, did you hear that gunshot? That was loud. Ooh, there's another. We were probably uh, sighting in their rifles. It's about, about time for, for deer hunt season. I think that's next weekend. Oh, okay. So that would be the weekend after. Well, that's a little late. Usually they start around the 12th or 13th, right? Yeah, the weekend before Thanksgiving is like 20. Anyway, that's beside the point. I'm sure none of you actually care about that at all. <laughs> the hunting season's coming soon, so it's probably the gunshot for people getting ready. If you live in like a big old city. Probably wouldn't be used to hearing that. Well, you might be used to hearing gunshots, but <laughs> not not for you know, purposes of just hunting deer. Yeah, yeah. We don't we don't typically have to worry about things just flying around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, if I could do impressions, I would do that one. Uh, yeah. I don't know if uh <laughs> smart pants. So I said don't okay, I don't know if Jesse plan on going deer hunting this season or not. Oh. No, you don't want to see him deer hunting. Because that means I have to go. I hate going deer You will like it when I go deer hunting because I can't be quiet. I ramble 
on. I talk. I, I whisper. I talk. And I get cold and then I complain. <laughs> But then he still wants me to go with him. What is wrong with him? <laughs> oh, whatever. So Lacey says she is horrible at deer hunting too. Yeah. You know, and I know there's a lot of <laughs> I'm, there's a lot of ladies that will go hunt deer hunt and some of them are very good at it and it's I've done it. I've done it a few times. And I've even taught one. And that doesn't bother me. But it is just not my thing. I don't have the attention span to sit quietly for two, three hours waiting for that one deer to cross my path. And when I do see it, I tend to get a little anxious. Because, you know, I'm ready to go home. So let's Shoot that bad boy in the hunt. <laughs> and then, you know, I miss. Well, I, don't, I didn't even shoot that one time. She wouldn't turn sideways, and my arms actually gave out. Because I had the gun up. I probably should have said that. That's where it fell out there. I had it up, and I had was holding it and trying to. Uh, I had with my aim. I was waiting for it to turn broadside. I should have just tried to shoot her. I probably could have done it. So I missed it because my arms gave out and I had to lower my arms and then I probably made noise and they all took off. I, I remember them all taking off and I'm assuming it's because I, they saw me move or I made noise or whatever. <laughs> it was just really no fun. Hey, Patrick. Oh, hey, look, you finally caught something else. That's massive. That's sort of the big for this area of the fish. Yeah, that thing is huge. Put that on the end of the map. <laughs> How long do we want to go live today? We're, we're over an hour. A little over an hour. Yeah. No, we don't do that. We don't get all rude like that. <laughs> we were really hoping there'd be stuff in here because these, for those of you that weren't here earlier when I was rambling, these are um, boat slips. And they're rented by the city. Park the boats in. So, you know, boats sometimes are good places to find stuff because people drop stuff out of their boats, off of their boats. Hey, little girl. Good morning. Oh, Neon Reagan, I missed you coming in. Hello. Wait, you don't just constantly watch this chat in this stuff. I mean, it's not really like moving fast, it's just, you know, if I don't keep my eyeballs on it, it moves and I get to keep it. I was trying to think what day it is. I mean, I think we're plenty fine. I set it way low on my phone. That way it warns me well before I would go over. Is today the 7th? 8th? I don't know. 
All right, Jim, you have a good day. Thanks for popping in and hanging with us for like, what, an hour and five minutes. That was pretty awesome of it. You've been here from the beginning. Thank you. Appreciate that. No. Let's hope it's a little more exciting. Cool today. Or may not again. I wasn't expecting it. Would have been nice to just get some more of them big hooks and stuff. Pieces of thing. Yeah, fish and pole would have been nice. This just really isn't the uh, probably the best place to hang in because I think they do tend to make keep it a little cleaner. Yeah, and that's very possible too. But it's been nice fish already. <laughs> Was that when my phone buzz? I guess we can't do that. We can probably like um, it's on silent, but it, I have no vibrate, so you probably hear the buzz from the vibration. That's a beautiful day too, Patrick. It's I'd say it's like in the mid sixties by now, but it's nice and breezy. And, yeah, it's just it's a Pretty great for this kind of thing now. Unfortunately for us, that means that other people have to do fishing and things to try to stay in place. I think we froze. Back. I don't know. Are we back? Yeah, my whole screen light froze up. Is the audio still bad? No, I'm not froze. That's weird because my scene is completely froze up. Well, I moved. <laughs> I moved and I got up close to the trail, and that seems to have taken a little bit of my uh, my signal. I don't know why that little spot would take more signal, but. <laughs> Casual. We found some hooks. We found a watcher. We found a bowl and a nail. You know, crappie gigs. And then we found this weirdo uh, clamper thingy. You know, you like squeeze that handle. Well, you're a fisherman. You probably know. And then that squeezes the other pull the hooks out of the out of the fish. 
That was like the first thing he pulled up. Very first throw. I didn't even have StreamYard on yet. I can't pull that up. Got something? No, who's no. Oh, yeah. What is that? It's a chair. Oh, my gosh. We got our first lawn chair. <laughs> Don't let it go. It's camo. It's a camo chair, guys. Look at that. It's even got, hey, look, it's even got the cover to the chair. What is, what's on that? What is that? That, is that like creatures? It yes. is, isn't it? Well, that's been down there for a bit. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, that's our first, that is our first chair. Right? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's our first chair. Get some of that mud off of it. Some of the little creatures. Lovely. That was that was cool. No, there was no beer in the cup holder, darn it. I think so. That was pretty awesome. Ah, I'm glad you got to see that. I don't know if that was worth uh, you staying in here and watching for an hour, but I mean, I, I think it's worth it to magnet fish for an hour and, and find something like that. It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. Yeah, they've got dumpster things here. With that here in the, which is nice because I hate when we have to take stuff with us like that. See, now, he had already went through this area. We'd already come through all this area. And then he went back and was doing it again. So that's, you know, that's one reason we tend to go back to the same spots if we find stuff at all, because we know there's probably more down there. It's just a matter of hitting on it just right. Right. Power bank is. Let's see. Is it charging my phone back? I don't think it's charging my phone. Oh, that's neat. Um, I've only got like 28% on the phone. Like as soon as I talked about it, holding a pretty good card, decided to stop. And I don't think my power bank has anything, which is weird because it was fully charged. So I don't know what is up with that. Oh, hey, good morning, Sue. Lucky dog. Um, casual girl. We found. We have a video where we found a. Um, a satellite dish, so that was pretty exciting. Uh, one of the live streams that we did a couple of live streams ago, we found a rollaway bed and a fuel tank for a tractor. So, I mean, those are our, probably our um, most exciting things we've found. There, if you watch that, um, if you watch that live stream where we pulled that stuff up, we also pulled up. A, uh, a sink 
but we didn't get it out of the water. It he couldn't hang on to it quite good enough, and it let go, and it's still in the water. We got to go back and retrieve that at some point. And then that's also the same place where in one of our videos we pulled something up at the end of the video. We don't know what it was, and the magnet just couldn't quite hang on to it. It was like really, really heavy. Um, Jerry Holly is pretty sure that it was a sewing machine, and he may very well have been right. We just we don't know yet, and we haven't got that out of the water yet either. So we kind of want to go back again. We've gone back a couple of times and still didn't get that, but it's still on our list. It's in our minds. We know it's there. We want to go get it. Really bummer about my power bank. I don't understand that. I have to go home and charge that up. Brought it with me just so I would have it in case the phone. Oh well, whatever. Yeah, and that's something else, too, that others were saying they thought, because Jerry Holly thought, sure, it was a sewing machine. Um, radio was another option. And uh, cash register was another one that somebody had said. So, And really, just from the little bit that we pulled up, it could be any of the three. I mean, and it could be something else we're not even thinking of. Who knows? Oh, bye, Lacey. Oh, yes, it is a great day. Have fun. Enjoy the weather. Thanks for hanging out. I'll probably just hang for a few more minutes because my battery probably won't last much longer than a few more minutes, but I think he's trying to grab something. He gets a look on his face. I can see the look. <laughs> it's like concentration and anticipation at the same time. It's right, it's there. I'm going to get it. Not constipation. <laughs> that's not totally different. And that's a different look. <laughs> no gold rings. I don't think, I don't think gold magnetic, is it? Oh. Something there. I wonder if they do Santa Claus here. I was just looking over here. I know that would seem like really random, but I was just looking over here and there's like a little PVC house. Like the frame of a house. But it's like PVC type. So I just wonder if they do like a uh, like a Santa like Santa Claus or something maybe. You know, I don't know. I know they've got quite a few Christmas decorations up already. Kinda hard to believe that it's almost Thanksgiving. I mean, seriously. I feel like even as horrible as this year kind of was, for many different reasons, that uh, it went by pretty quick, which I guess is a good thing, since it was not exactly the best year ever. You still catching on that? Uh, yeah, we can run about another eight to ten minutes. That'll give us an hour and a half. 
I mean, unless it just gets really exciting, then we'll try to stay longer. But, you know. Let's move some more, and then people. Oh. <laughs> There really is a lot of people that go biking out here. I kind of wish I'd have known about this when we did used to bike a lot. This is a really good place to bike. Snick and, you know. It's nice when you're, you know, like exercise and I think to have you know, something pretty to look at. <clears throat> Kind of makes me nervous with those magnets so close to all that metal of the dog. Catch that on there. Get stuck. Seriously. What is he blaring? Seriously? Dude. <laughs> oh. That's funny. Well, I don't know if my chat froze or if nobody's just talking. I haven't seen anything move in a while, so. <clears throat> I guess we're still here. I don't know. Um, yep, they're still here. Hey, posh cats. They're just also mesmerized by the magnificent magnet fishing. <laughs> That's what it is. Everybody's just waiting to see if you can bring up whatever it is you keep catching on down there. Nope. <clears throat> I don't think so. Nope. Dave's waiting on the on the beer to come up. The beer that goes with the chair. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> well, he went from Bill Collins to the rapping. Can't make out what it is, but <laughs> So hopefully that means that, uh, you know, I can't be heard too well on the live stream since he's so rudely blaring his music. 
I don't know why people think that everyone wants to hear what they're listening to. That's my rant for the day. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I think everybody can listen to whatever music they want to listen to, but keep it to yourself, folks. Not everybody's going to like what you're listening to. And while I can appreciate a little bit of Phil Collins, I don't exactly want to hear it blaring in my ears. What's that one? It's still the Phil Collins? Is he just playing it over and over again? <laughs> it's looping. <laughs> Yeah, see? Right. Keep it to yourself. Nobody wants to hear your taste in music. I know darn good well people don't all like the same music I like, so. I don't know. Anyway, like I said, that's just my little rant for today. Look at the me. Man, it's really nice out here. I think it's getting a little windier though. Maybe blowing it the storms. Oh, did you get on something? I thought it looked like your rope pulled at it, honey. Mm-hmm. Boy, it sure looks like it's pulling something. Too bad you got yucky weather today. I we actually have a really pretty day, but I don't think it's going to last. I think it was a log. Or if it's just catching, you know. So I don't know when you came in, Posh Cats. Did you see the chair we pulled up? I got to go show him the chair. I don't know if Trev and Sue saw our chair. So we've got this camping chair. It's a camo. A camo camping chair. Been down there for a little bit. It's got some creatures growing on it. That was our big catch for the day. We just caught that not too long ago. We caught a little grabber thing, but it's like all nasty. It's been in a while. It was falling apart. Hooks and screws and stuff like that. Well, I think we probably just caught on a log. I think we're going to go ahead and sign off here because my phone's uh, telling me that we have, I'm, I'm out of battery and my battery bank is evidently not charged. Or my cable's not working. I don't know which it is. So, I thank you all for hanging out with us, and I had a really good time. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging and chatting, and we may or may not be back next week for a lot of I don't know. It depends on situations, you know, weather and stuff. All right, guys. Thanks. See you later.